Hello and welcome back. Today I'm doing something different. Um, I finally got my recording software set up for console games. And so I wanted to start with one that just came out last year, um, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, I've been playing this game a lot. It's really good. I've always been a fan of the series and this one is definitely the best one. So what I thought I'd do is go through classic mode and I'm going to play through it as each of the unique newcomers. Not the Echo Fighters, but the, the new new characters. As you can see, I have um, played through them before by the little medals there, but I thought it'd be fun to make some videos of them, because um, they are really interesting new characters to play as. So we're going to start out with Inkling, the first character that was announced for the game. We're going to turn it right up. Right up to five. I don't have any classic tickets. I don't know how well I'm going to do, I'm not amazing at any of the newcomers in particular, but Ready? let's give it a go. So Inkling, Inkling's a good character. Inkling's really interesting um, because she has the, the mechanic of using the ink from Splatoon obviously. And as you can see I've got Sheik here covered in orange ink and now all of my attacks will do more damage. Another thing about um, specifically Inkling's classic mode is that I think it's all done by colour. Like as you can see Lucario and Sheik. Lucario and Sheik both have different colorations to you like their default skins. Um, I can't tell you for certain what colours they are because I'm colorblind. Uh, but they're the same and they are different to what they usually are. I mean come on, I got it. I was never good at fighting Lucario. Lucario is difficult. Just just according to me, according to no one else. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's that's the first round. Um Yeah, so after you beat every round you get some more points and you get some more points in the intensity as well. Which means that every time you do well, the fights get harder. Here I think we've got Pink Greninja. If I get any of these colours wrong, I do apologise, I'll have no idea. Greninja's, Greninja's a cool character. I was really excited when he got announced. Um, I actually remember it was a Smash 4 specific direct, and he got announced right at the end. But while I was watching it the night it came out, my internet went out, and I had to wait till the next day to actually find out who they announced. It was, it was not good. Oh, I got him with the bomb tube. Oh, we got a, we got a um, flying man, birdman. I forget the name. They help you out. They're from Earthbound. We got that one as well. Nice. Wario and Duck Hunt duo up next. Um, I think they're supposed to be red. I think Wario is red. Duck Hunt looks more brown, but. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, I'm... Okay, I'm still alive. Um, the lava kinda saved me. Got Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt's a character I always struggled to play against. Um, he was... It's because of all the projectiles and stuff. I usually play as Ike. He's my favourite character. And... Yeah, Ike's a very up close. He doesn't have any projectiles or anything. So Duck Hunt was always a difficult one to play against because of that. I'm surprised I got that without dying, given that I fell in the lava right at the start. Yoshi! Blue Yoshi! On the summit stage, and oh, it's a big blue Yoshi! Let's make him orange. I do like the Inklings moveset. They're one of my favourite of the newcomers. I think my favourite's probably Ridley. Um, I was one of the people who wanted Ridley to be in this game ever since... I heard someone suggest it, and I'm quite surprised it took them this long to actually do it. He seemed like, I mean, out of all the Metroid characters, he seemed like the most obvious pick for a villain. Um, either that or Dark Samus, since they've both got added to this one. Dark Samus is my favourite of the Echoes, definitely. She's just so cool in the way all her animations look and stuff. She also has, in my opinion, one of the best classic modes. Nice. Um, in Dark Samus, the idea is that every fight you do, um, you get a teammate 
who is a dark version of a character from the franchise you're fighting against. And it's supposed to be like you're kind of taking them over like a parasite. Here we've got Shock Ness and Mewtwo. Oh, I want to I wanna get him with the Fleezy. I, I missed completely. Do I have enough on Ink Bomb? I know I do. Ink Bomb! The Ink Bomb's one of the my favourite moves by Inkling. I've not really been using the special moves a lot, I don't know why, they're really quite good. You've got the Volar on the side B, that one's good, because it can get him stuck in the ground if he doesn't do that. Oh I got him! Okay, good. I've got 161%. I don't think if this gets much harder, which it will if I keep winning, then I'm not winning for long. Uh, 7.7. Yeah, 7.7 is kind of the, or at least that, the 7 range is the point where I start doing worse. But here we go, we've got two enemy inklings. But they are attacking each other, which makes it a bit easier. The free falls are definitely a lot easier than if it's sort of people against you. Interestingly, there is a mode that is exactly that, 100 people against you. I should play that, that one's a lot of fun. I've not played that one much. I've mainly been sticking to um, either playing with friends this classic mode or the spirit mode and the story mode that goes along with it, which is actually surprisingly good. I thought it was going to be like a really minimal story mode, which in a way it is. It's just, it doesn't really have much of a story, but it gives you like an adventure map to go around. And I do, I do like the spirit battles, the way that they're based on other characters, it's really interesting to see them. Uh, one of my favourites is probably the one based on the, the Kuko from Zelda, the chickens. Because um, you fight against one Falco and then when you kill him you get swarmed by a bunch of Falco, just like the, the Kukos in Zelda. Oh no! Oh, I thought she was going to get me with that. Okay, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose if I'm not careful. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can get this smash attack, because that would be a lot of fun. We'll definitely get out the smash attack. Oh no! No, she got the smash attack! That's not good. That's not good. Avoid this all first. That was not avoiding it. I think I'm out. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'm out. Okay. I've got... Oh, I've not got a lot of gold. I didn't realise. Okay. Let's hope I don't run out of gold. That wouldn't be good. Why did I do that? I have zero percent. Because I just respawned. With the air, in the air, keeps dodging. I can't, I can't get her. Okay, okay from there, yes. Oh, why am I having such trouble? There we go. Just one. One was all it took. I got her up to like a hundred and something. I didn't pay enough attention to what it was. Yeah. So obviously, when. I lost, the intensity went down, so at least now it's a bit more doable. And we got this bonus stage as well, the bonus stage is quite good. I do wish they added a few more, because it is just this one every time. Um, no, what, what is happening? I swear I'm usually better at this game. So yeah, this is just a way to get some extra points and stuff. Um, and also you can get killed on that thing if you really want to. That's a, that's a strategy I like to go for. Um, yeah, this this part, I've got to face it to get into this little treasure trove. That's one of my favourite bits. And I can never get this bit at the end. It's weirdly difficult. Because you've got to kind of hit these ones. But uh, some characters have like attacks that just go straight up and get them. I don't know if there's a different way you're supposed to do that. Because like half the characters just can't reach it properly, really. I'm probably missing something, but that's what I've been doing since I got this. Oh, we're fighting Marx! I like Marx. He's probably my favourite of the boss characters. Um, most of the time it's just like Master Hand and Crazy Hand. And like, they've got a whole bunch of different bosses, I just wish they kind of used them more. Instead of just the same ones every time. Okay, so yeah, Marx is from Kirby. Um, I actually just got Star Allies, and you can... I think you can play as Marx in it. He's one of the dream friends, and I don't know how you actually play as them. I think there's like a separate like time trial mode where you can play as them. I kind of wish you could just play through the main game as them, but 
I won't complain. It's a fun game. Um, I've always liked the Kirby games. They are just ridiculously easy. Is he going to do the thing where he splits open? He's got this move where he splits open and like absorbs you into it, and it's really cool. He's, he's not the hardest boss. I would say that... Um, I don't actually know. I think maybe Ganon... He's, he's difficult in this. Oh, there's where he splits open. Oh, well, I, I got hit by it, but I don't mind, because it was cool. It also spikes you down afterwards. Come on, don't keep flying away. Oh, what's this one again? Oh, yeah, they kind of bounce at you or something. It's fine. I'm doing fine. Where is he? Oh, no. Looks like the inside of a heart or something. Get him with the paint. I'm sorry, it's ink. It's, it's not paint. I know that. Oh, dear. I don't think I've seen that move before. I uh, probably have. I just don't remember. Come on. No. Don't. Yes, and we got marks. And that is the end of the Inkling Classic mode. Inkling's a great character. I'm really glad they added them. Um, I thought they were going to add them as DLC for Smash 4, to be honest, because the timing seems just perfect for that. But I knew that if they made another Smash Bros. game, which obviously they did, I knew that they would bring Inkling to it. It makes a lot of sense that they were the first announced. And there we go. So, thank you for joining me in this episode. Um, I hope to see you next time. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. We're going to be playing through the rest of the uh, newcomers. And so I will see you in the next episode. Okay, goodbye.